Hi, my name is Jerry Reed, and I've been an Amsoil dealer for about three decades now. Uh, I'd like to talk to you today about Greece, the difference in Greece. The small Greece representing petroleum Greece, and the capitalized large Greece representing synthetic Greece. There's a major difference between the two. Synthetic grease, of course, is made with the base stock of synthetic oil, which gives it high temperature properties, high resistance to wear, uh, resistance to being washed out, and, uh, it, and doesn't melt. It has a high melting point. When you do a comparison, when you think about grease, there's three major problems with grease. One is water, one is temperature, and one is pressure. Petroleum grease readily mixes and, uh, with water and emulsifies and washes out. Petroleum grease melts at about 240 degrees and melts and runs out. And petroleum grease squeezes out at about six to 700 pounds per square inch. And once you rupture that film at six to 700 PSI, now you have metal on metal. That's the reason we grease more often. We have to grease uh, pieces of equipment uh, rather frequently because of those characteristics. Now, when you compare that to AMSO grease, water resistant, it doesn't wash out. It won't mix, it won't emulsify. So it'll last much longer. It can withstand over 550 degrees temperature before it melts. The melting point is 550 degrees. So it's not going to melt on you and run out. And lastly, it can withstand over 3,000 pounds per square inch before you rupture that film and get metal to metal. So when you look at the two differences, you can see that it's night and day difference. Pieces of equipment that have to be greased every day, and in hot weather sometimes twice a day, like this, these heavy equipment, this uh, bulldozers and uh, what they call uh, bobcats and, and uh, um, knuckle boom loaders that load the logs on the trucks, they grease them in warm weather twice a day. When they go to our grease, they can go to once a week. Not only can they go to once a week, which is a tremendous time saving, but where, because of the ability of that grease to stay between those metal parts, dramatically drops. I had a logger, for example, who had a what they call a knuckle boom loader, the hydraulic arm that loads the uh, logs on the trucks, greasing every day and twice a day in warm weather, go to once a week. Now normally in that piece of equipment, the knuckles on that arm, after a year, year and a half, start to get loose, start to get some slop in them. Three years later, that, those knuckles were just as tight as the day he bought that. One of the things he has to grease on that truck is the PTO U-joint. And the PTO U-joint is, of course, turning, 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 running the hydraulic pump. And they would last about six months three years down the line. Same U-joint. Didn't have to replace it. Uh, over the road truckers, and this uh, one trucker that I've worked with, he's on his third truck running AMSOIL in everything, and he greases it four times less often, and in well over two million miles, he has never replaced a U-joint, tie rod, or a kingpin using the grease. That's the difference between grease and grease. We have a complete line of grease. We have a racing grease that's resistant to high temperature, even more than the standard 
can withstand a little extra load and is excellent in, uh, in, in racing applications. We have a heavy duty grease and that's probably the most used grease in uh, the heavy equipment, trucking, uh, that kind of application. Uh, we have a multi-purpose grease. That's uh, for lighter duty, for automotive uh, equipment that doesn't have the high RPMs or the extreme pressure. Uh, we have a spray multi-purpose grease. And it's a great product to be able to get into areas that you normally can't get the grease into. It goes in in almost a semi-liquid foaming uh, foam and then the foam dissipates and it's a, a, a standard number two grease. The great different types of applications. We have a multi-purpose number one grease. Now these greases here, the racing, the heavy duty and the multi-purpose, they're what they call number two. That refers to the thickness of the grease. Your standard greases today are all number two. But if you need a grease that's a little more free-flowing, we have a multi-purpose number one grease. Then if you need a grease that's almost close, getting close to a liquid, we have a multi-purpose zero grease. Very free-flowing. Excellent in situations where they have pumping uh, applications, where they're, they're pumping out of a drum or a, or a pail and they, with a hose and going around uh, greasing equipment. We have a water resistant, very tenacious grease, a number two grease to be used in applications on marine uh, wheel bearings, things like that. Uh, really withstands the washout ability. We have a high viscosity grease, meaning that we have a grease for industrial use that is very, very thick. It's very hard to move that grease but it, in certain applications where you've got high load and so forth, that's uh, a recommended grease. We have a semi-fluid grease, which is a double zero grease, almost a free-flowing grease. And again, that is used in specialized situations. We have a food grade grease that's approved by the uh, United States Department of Agriculture, so this can be used in equipment where there might be incidental contact with food. So we have a food grade. And then the last thing we have is we have a spray fifth wheel grease very tenacious, works wonderful on fifth wheels. So these fellows uh, the, with trucks and equipment, uh, this stuff just stays and lubricates and is a great time saver and uh, equipment saver for them in the fifth wheel. So we have the complete line of grease. 